Ebert Burns, you finally have a fight coming up. Who are you fighting and when are you finally fighting? I'm fighting the Russian guy, a tough Russian guy. He's uh, undefeated, 11-0, Movlidze Haibulaev. I'm going to fight in KL, Kuala Lumpur, in Malaysia, in February 10th. It's, it's great to be back in action. Like I was really excited when I got the news. Man, you're going to fight. Because I was like training, training over a year and nothing happened. And this time like it's confirmed a fight. So I'm really excited to go there and put a great show. It's been a long time since you last fought. Uh, why Why did it take so long for you to finally come back? Like, I don't... I. I, I don't have this answer. It's hard, like, the one championship, like, I don't know what the, what are the plans, but I was, like, a little bit aside. The division was moving, everyone was fighting. Only I was watching, like, on the sidelines, but I don't like to be on the sidelines. And, like, I can control. I'm not the, the matchmaker, I'm not the president, I'm just a fighter on the event. And, like, I was just pushing, me and my manager, Gilberto Faria, to try get a fight. And took a while, but we got a fight now, and that's what uh, we are looking for, forward now. Go there and put a fight, put a great war. Like, keep on the feet, it's a Russian guy, it's a tough guy. And that's what we need. We need to, like, go back to the to the scene on the division. And, and like, a uh, uh, hard challenge will be, will be doing that. Last time we, we, we spoke was in August of, of last year and you were literally begging for, for a fight, uh, telling the promotion that, that you were up to fighting on 10 days notice and even fighting a lightweight. Were you, were you surprised that since then it took this long for, for, for them to finally give you a fight? Yeah, yeah I, was, I was really surprised because I, we are in talk and we are supposed to fight but it did not happen and I was ready to fight, man. Like, I'm training, I train regularly. I don't train only for, I don't do only the camp to the fights. I'm, I'm naturally regularly training. So I'm always in shape. Like I had no problem at that time to take a fight on, on lightweight or even like a, a short notes fight because like I said, I'm always training and I don't want to be, like I like to compete. I don't want to be like one year without fights. I like to compete I, uh, from BJJ and I, I used to compete weekends like Sometimes two tournaments on the weekend, so we do like 10 fights on the weekends. And like MMA, I know it's much slower, but I like to compete. That's my, 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 that's why I chose MMA. I like to compete, I like to test myself against the best. And like I was surprised for the long time without fighting, but like I said, now we got the fight, and that's the what we focus now and, get, and go there and get that win. You were unbeaten in, in MMA and you have five wins in, in 1FC. Uh, did you expect to, to, to face someone that already has a, a good record in the, in the promotion? And were you, were you surprised when they offered this guy? He's a tough guy and 11 and 0, but he's making his promotion debut. Like, uh, like the guys on the division, like most, I, first, I, fa I face off the, the former champion, Honor Banario. I faced the toughest guy in the division, and like few guys were like there's there's no ranking there, but we can see who wins and and loss, and like has has very few guys that uh, are ahead of me or like close to me on the division, and like beside the champions doesn't have much guys, and the two guys they they have the matchup against each other, so it's, it's Martin Yanging and Kazunori Okota. They will fight this weekend, so like. I was, I was like in my mind. I think they will bring a new guy to, to fight me, and because this happened before, I fought Tanaka when he just came to the division. I fought Sarmiento when they just came to the, to the organization. So I, I was like, man, I think they will bring a, one more time a new guy. But I will show him how tough one FC is on this division and how, how, how big a contender I am. You wanted to stay active, but but you haven't fought in over a year. How hard was it financially to pay the bills and uh, to support yourself and a family having with up with without fights in over a year? Yeah, it was wasn't wasn't easy. Was was hard because like you know we're fighters and like we don't have a, sometimes you have a sponsor but like if you fight for you don't fight for a long time you're gonna lose your sponsor you're gonna lose your your deals and that's what happened like last time I fought was September 27th so that's a really long like this of 2015 so that's a really long time so 
was hard financially, but like I kept I kept a good reserve. Like I'm carefully financially, luckily. So I try try to keep it on, like hold hold tight, and like I make today's time. So like I'm great now that I'm gonna have a, a paycheck soon. I am gonna have two paychecks: the the fight and then the win bonus. And after this, this fight, uh, after everything that happened with you in the in the promotion, lack of fights, what what's your plan plan for the for the future uh, in terms of staying in one FC and maybe looking for better offers outside of the promotion? I still have a contract for then. I'm gonna like do my work. I sign the contract. Nobody forced me to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the contract for then. Then see what happens. Let's see what happens because. Like, I, st I like the, the promotion, the fans there. Like, when I did be this long time, no fighting, I was like really overwhelming with the messages. I got so many messages from so many people around the world. They said, man, we really want to see you fighting. We, you're a great fighter. Come on, you deserve the title shot. Because at the time, I was like really close to. And like everyone was talking. And I, I received so many messages, even, even, even today. Like, I open my, my, my Twitter and my Facebook account, so my page manager, and every day, almost every day you have a message from different people that I never met in my whole life. Say, man, we are a great fighter, keep it doing, let's go. I want to see you fight again, when are you fighting next? And I had no answer, now I have the answer. February 10th in Malaysia against a Russian, Brazil versus Russia again. So we're gonna get a win again, like we did last time. Did you, did you already? Look at his fights, his tapes, and see what he's gonna do against you in the fight, and prepare your game plan for 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 this fight. Yeah, I took I took a look at his fight. He's a tough guy. He's he he was really active. He fought three times in 2016, and he he's a he's a complete martial art. He has submission, he has knockouts, has decisions. He has a good cardio. I like he looks physically strong. St wrestling, he's he's well rounded. But I think I'm, I'm ready to hang. Like this whole time I didn't fight, I did improve. I did add new weapons to my to my game. I think my striking got much better. Still have uh, high levels wrestling. I am in Brazil now, so my BJJ need to move a level up. So I think I'm ready to hang. I'm gonna put him in different situations that he never faced before. Like he fought with uh, European guys before, but never against a Brazilian. And a Brazilian of my High level grappling gonna be a hard challenge for him. I think I'm I'm ready to put him in a in in new situation that he won't be able to to get out. Those those fans that keep texting you, asking you when when you would be back, what can 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 those fans expect from you in a different fighter in this fight? Oh, they can expect a much greater Herbert Burns because, like I said, this this like I think I'm a religious, I'm a Catholic. And like I think God has a plan for you, and I think if He make the way, like He He had something planned for me much better on the on this time now. So they can expect uh, I'm gonna be there, like the same style I am, aggressive and technical, and try to look for the finish every single way now. But with a much better strike in this time.